Hi, Dr. Dave here with fellow Billiard University instructor Sam Dieppe to show you 10 proposition shots that every pool player must know because they are very impressive and not that difficult to master. Sam, come check out this shot. I'm shooting nine ball. I'm going to hit the one first, I'm going to pocket that nine in the corner. All right, it's a big deal. I even made the three. I bet you can't make that shot in three tries. And I bet you a lunch you can't do it. That was easy. I can do that. I think it's easy, huh? All right. Well, not so easy after all, huh? Mm. You got two more tries for lunch, Sammy. All right. I'm thinking Red Lobster. We'll see, though. I know. I know what you did now. Oh, you tried softer. It didn't work, did it? Hmm. Last try. I'm getting hungry. Red Lobster, here we come. Here's a close-up of the shot layout. I was able to pocket the ball on the first shot because I put some spit between the balls at the contact point. This almost eliminates all friction between the balls, allowing the nine to go. With no spit at the contact point between the five and nine, the five throws the nine into the cushion, causing it to rebound away from the rail. Here's another classic proposition example where using chalk instead of spit makes a dramatic difference. If I hit this shot at an angle with left spin, the one will throw to the right. And with spit between the balls, the one doesn't throw much at all. But by adding chalk to the contact point, I can easily throw the ball into the nine for the win. Sam, look what I left you here. What are you going to do now? What do you mean? I'm just going to make the nine ball. How are you going to make the nine? Just watch. You just get your wallet ready because you're buying Red Lobster this time. Looks like the one's going to go this way, three's going to go that way, Q ball's going to go that way. You can't make that nine. Let me see. Don't worry about it, Dr. Dave. What the? See? How'd you do that? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I guess I owe you Red Lobster after all. Here's a close-up of the shot to show the trick. This shot is not legal since the Q-tip hits the 9 directly, but it is still impressive and fun. Sam, come look at this shot. I set up these balls frozen. I bet you can't make that 9 ball in the side pocket. I'm going to give you 10 tries. And I'm going to bet you an unlimited breadsticks dinner at Olive Garden that you can't make it in 10 tries, but I'm going to make it on the first try. Well, all I have to do is just hit those balls at the same time. You're right. It's easy. Give it a try. If you hit either ball first, even barely, the nine doesn't go. That was tougher than you thought, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I thought I could just hit them both at the same time and the nine ball would go straight in the pocket. That's the way it looks, but you don't know the secret. Show me. <laughs> you just got to put this at a little angle. You thin the first ball and it goes in. I'm going to make this the first time. I can taste those breadsticks already. Nothing to it. Sam's last attempt was almost perfect, but it still wasn't good enough. Sam did make the shot eventually, but it is not easy since the 11 and 13 must be hit simultaneously for the 9 to go. Even this hit wasn't perfect. Here's the angled thin hit that is easy to execute with a little practice. Hey Dave. What do you have, Sammy? Come check out this shot. Do you think that I can make a 1-9 combo here without kicking or jumping or massing? Yeah, these are frozen? Yeah. Whoa, I don't think that's possible. You want to put a little friendly wager on that? Like maybe some Cheesecake Factory? Whoa, you're really raising the stakes on me. I feel like I have to. All right, you got a deal. All right. Let's Show me what it. you got. What the? How'd you do that? I don't know, but I'm getting hungry. Here's a close-up of the shot showing the required technique. The shot is not legal because it is a push shot, where the tip is slowly touched to the ball and contact is prolonged during the stroke forward. Sammy, come take a look at this shot. What do you got here, Dave? I'm going to try to hit the one and drop the quarter straight down. Think I can do it? No way. Oh, this is easy. Wow. 
Isn't it exactly where it was? It was. You give it a try now. Oh, you got it to move a little bit. Do you think you can make it move a lot? Yeah. Let's give you a test on that. Sure. I just need to hit it harder. I want this quarter of the lamp outside this rectangle. I'm thinking I'm in the mood for uh, breadsticks again, Sammy. Are you willing to wager another Olive Garden on this? Olive Garden again? Yeah, breadsticks, Sammy, breadsticks. Okay. All right. So like, the bet is you have to make the quarter leave the rectangle. I'll give you three tries. Okay. That dropped straight down, Sammy. Oh, man. You better try something else. Straight down, Sammy. Last chance. I know what I need to do now. Oh, you tried to follow it. That's a good idea, Sammy. You moved it some. Darn it! I don't think this shot is possible, Dave. Why don't you show me, and if you can't get it out of the box, then you buy dinner at Olive Garden. Alright, that sounds fair. Set it up. I'll set it up for you. It helps to know a little trick. What? I'm going to try to jump into that quarter, and I'll send it flying. Is the quarter even on the table, Sammy? Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright, breadsticks, baby. Here's a close-up view showing the quarter's tendency to drop straight down. And when the quarter is placed off-center, it is easy to make it move. And when you jump into the quarter, it really goes flying. Hey, Dave. Yeah, what do you got, Sammy? You got a coin on you? I think so. How about a penny? Penny is perfect. What you got in mind? Another proposition shot here? As a matter of fact, I do have another proposition. All right. I am tired of eating breadsticks at all. Oh. <laughs> what do you think about some Chipotle this uh, time? Oh, remember last time when I did my stomach? Just order something different all this right. time. I can do that. All right. So the proposition is that I bet you that I can get my cue ball closer than you to this one ball without knocking that penny off. Okay. Now here's the catch. All right. Yeah, shoot that cue ball from in this second diamond here, and it has to come off at least one rail. All right, you got yourself a deal. All right, I'm hungry. That's going to be tough to beat, Sammy. You think you can beat it? I think so. Whoa. Get your cue. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to shoot this with my hand. you got to be kidding. Same rules? Getting off one rail? I'm going to go off five rails. Holy crap. What do you think? Uh, I think I have a pretty safe bet here. Show me. Wow, I did not think it was possible to beat where I left it earlier. Well, it is. You hungry? <laughs> I guess so. Let's go to Chipotle. All right. Here are some more examples showing that even if your speed, direction, and spin are not perfect, the five railer is very reliable, always ending up fairly close to the target. Going off multiple rails tends to cancel out errors, and the last cushion really helps kill the cue ball. Sammy, come check this out. What you got here, Dave? This cue ball is very close to the one, but there is a gap. Do you think you can make the one in the corner without double hitting? Oh, sure. You just elevate, right? Let's see it. Some leagues say you just need a 45 degree elevation to avoid the double hit. Well, let's see if the leagues are right. Oh, you hit both of those balls, so that cue ball went forward, didn't it? Hmm. I did make it. I got a hanker for some uh, breadsticks. No! If I, if I can do it, do you think I deserve some breadsticks? <sighs> All right. Bye. All right. Let me give it a whirl. I'm going to do it by using my hand against the rail. And I'm going to sacrifice myself for these breadsticks. I'm going to smash the rail, and that will stop the cue. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> Olive Garden, here we come. You better believe it. Here's a close-up showing the hand hitting the rail to stop the cue. 
As you can see, there is room to hit the 1, but if the cue ball goes forward any, the 9 and 11 will move. Here's an example double hit foul. And here's an example of a clean legal hit. Here are some more examples of double hit fouls. Hey Dave. Yes, Annie. Here's another shot. Oh, what are you going to do here? So all four balls are frozen. I'm in a pocket only the nine ball. Well, I'll be impressed if you do that. Let's see it. Wow, that was a great shot, Sammy. What are you going to do now? So now, as an encore, I'm going to make the other two balls, the one and the three in the corner. What do you think about and that? Not, and not the nine? Not the nine. Oh, I got to see that. Whoa, that's impressive, Sammy. Good shot. Thanks. Now, Sammy, that was impressive, but I bet I can make all three of the balls in this pocket. Do it. Piece of cake. <laughs> Here's an overhead view showing the illegal push shots from different directions. Notice how side spin is transferred between the balls to create the desired action. Here's another shot where the 3 and 9 are pocketed, but not the 1. If you want a real challenge, try to bank the 1 to the upper corner, pocket the 3, and kick the cue ball across the table to pocket the 9. I've added the 8 to make the shot a little easier, but it is still extremely difficult. Here are my two best of many attempts. If you can make all three balls, post a video link in the comments so I can congratulate you. Let's see who can do it first. Sam, your last shot reminded me of this. I'm okay. going to try to pocket that one in the corner. And these are frozen pointing straight at the rail. You think I can do it? I'll be impressed. All right, let's give it a whirl. You can put a little extra flair on there. A little extra kiss. I see that. This shot looks familiar. Didn't I see this in a movie once? Yeah, in fact, I can bank it back here. That's right, the color of money. You got it. Let's try it. Piece of cake. Nice. Well, that was impressive, but what if you have this? Can you still make that ball over there? I think so, Sammy. Let me give it a whirl. That's a piece of cake, Sammy. Here's an overhead view showing the action of the shots. This is an illegal push with side spin. Here, the shot really looks impossible with the cue pointing away from the pocket, but an illegal intentional miscue gets the job done. Here's the Hustler movie, Bank, with a fast speed, high contact follow shot that allows the cue to get out of the way. And here's the kick, relying on cushion compression to create an angle on the one. Here's a similar classic setup where the nine can be pocketed with either an illegal push shot or with an illegal intentional miscue shot. Did you notice that Sam and I were changing wardrobe, taking turns playing the role of the hustler shark? For this final shot, I'm playing the role of the big fish doofus. Excuse me. Yeah. Can I show you a shot? All right. So I'm going to pocket that one ball, draw the cue ball back, and then make the nine for the money. Real. That's pretty good for a girl. Oh, yeah? You think you can do better? Damn right. Well, is it worth, uh, is it worth something to you? Well, how about this? 
if you can make it, then you can have dinner of choice at any restaurant you want. Even Olive Garden? Even Olive Garden. All right. What the? Looks like we're going to Red Lobster. Oh, good job. Do you know what Sam did to guarantee I couldn't make the shot? When she shot it, the cue ball was here. But for my shot, she put the cue ball here instead, against the cushion. When the cue ball is frozen to a cushion, part of the ball is under the cushion nose. Any downward hit on the cue ball with speed causes the cue ball to hop up a little, and when it does, the cushion nose pushes it away from the rail. Here are the shots again from a different view so you can clearly see the effect. Watch the cue ball get pushed away from the rail. We hope you have fun trying out some of our proposition shots. We'll see you at the next BU Summer School Boot Camp. I want to thank Bob Jewett for offering some good advice when I was planning this video. In the YouTube video description, there are links to additional proposition shot videos and other useful and related resources. Here are a couple of outtakes where the fish, or mark, who was supposed to do poorly, got very lucky on the first try. Well, all I have to do is just hit those balls at the same time. You're right. Give it a try. All right. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. It's frozen. It's frozen. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs>